Alright, so anyway, this is where I'm making out so far with this. This is the Warbler. This is what it originally looks like. It comes on a roll, and that's the thickness of it. And the shiny side is what supposedly the sticky side. So if I was to stick this to one another, I want to either stick a shiny side to shiny side, or a shiny side to flat side. But flat side to flat side doesn't work. So this is three pieces put together. So once you put it together, heat this, heat it up good, put this on top of it, heat that up good. I took a paint, um, a spray paint can, I rolled it down, usually I, I was on a hard surface by the way, I rolled it down, stuck it between two pieces of plywood, put it in the vise for a couple hours, and actually I forgot about it, and then uh, took it back out, then I took another piece, heated up this piece which had the two on it put the other piece on top of that heated that up holding the heat gun approximately inch and a half two inches away and working it slow and then when that was done rolled it out with the paint can put it back in between the two pieces of wood threw it back in the vise and I actually forgot about it overnight to be honest with you uh, you don't need to put it in the vise overnight you really don't need to put it in a vise either. I guess you can just put some weight on it. So, But I only made one half of it because you can tuck it right around, as you can see, and form it right in. These two holes are just going to be for two more screws. I didn't finish it off yet, only because I don't know exactly what I want to do. The back side is a piece of leather. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do here either. I don't know if I'm going to just cut some belt loops in it or if I'm going to put it on a piece of leather slab and use it for inside the belt, inside the waist. So I don't know yet. But meanwhile, it works nice. So, does a nice job. Now, as a rule, I don't like my barrels closed off. I don't like holsters that have a closed bottom because that's just a place for crap to collect and too much crap if you don't pay attention to it, it's going to collect in there uh, even water and things like that if it rains and your holster's on the outside uh, so I always like an open end on the holster so that's why this is open um, I may trim it off a little bit more just to make it look a little neater but however that really doesn't bother me but that's basically the first time making a holster with Warbler I will continue on it to see how it works out and I may even wear it for a day to see how it is once I decide how I want to do it and then I still have to clean it because it's a mess as you can tell but that's it that's a holster made out of warbler and this is the holster that I've been using temporarily for this little 32 however like I just told you I don't like a sealed bottom Every time I take this out of here, I'm seeing dust inside the barrel. So this is loaded, by the way. Bang, bang. So, anyway, I don't know. How, how good is the focus on this thing? This is the little camcorder. It's not the cannon. The cannon's behind me. So anyway, uh, this is the holster for it. So if I continue to use this holster, I'm actually going to cut this bottom off. And then uh, I'll do a little end stitch right here or put some uh, crazy glue or something on the stitch so that it doesn't continue to unwind because I don't like sealed holsters. I really don't. All right. That's it, guys.